Hi, I am not Jennifer. I am her husband, Joe. Uh, Jennifer is uh, busy at the moment, and so she has asked me if I can uh, fill in and finish installing the headboard on this bed. So I'm going to do my best. Enjoy. Like a sunrise horizon, always there, always shining, building me up with the song it's singing, filling my heart like I'm flying. Always warm, always hold me. The biggest part of my story, healing my soul, help me feel completion, bringing me here to my glory. We have to put this big mammoth rug in this space here. Just so when you get out of bed in the morning, you have a nice little cushion for your little dozies. So this was the rug in the living room. We're just gonna repurpose it into the bedroom not bad it is beige and gray and, and a little bit of cream in there so it'll work great in here Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We did get, yep, the rug in the master bedroom. So we are slowly making that room over, at least, you know, getting it functional. Anyway, I am hopping on here, sans makeup, and um, my workout gear because we are going to get the banquette or the couch that we ordered from Pottery Barn to go there. So it is going to be a very exciting and full day because we're also gonna work on Max's room as well. So I will hop back on here when the guys come and deliver finally, finally, that couch or love seat or whatever you call it that we're going to use as a banquette for the dining room. They're here. They're here. They're finally here. They're here. Oh my goodness. So before we get the, um, we're going to call it the banquette. This is what it looks like before. So see, um, we are going to replace the floor. This floor is going to come all the way throughout the whole house, but for right now, it's going to go right there. The couch slash banquet slash whatever, whatever we want. It's going to go right there. 
the table is gonna go over there and the chairs and we can finally see what it's gonna look like all together. And then in the future, this room will be done. Hello. Hi, right there on that wall. I know. That's all the business. Huh. I'm gonna spin you around. Okay, so our next thing that we have to do in Max's room is to hang up his sconces. So what I'm thinking is like right here so that it is shining down on the side table. But with these, you can direct the lampshade to go wherever you like. So, trying to figure out what the best light placement is. Hmm. What do you guys think? Right here? No. Trying to use the viewfinder. Here or down? Remember, the picture frame is going to go right up here. Or do we hang the picture frame first and then the lights? Let's do that. Picture frame, picture, and then lights. Up. So now let's measure where we want these. I think I want them kind of in the middle, don't you think? Alright, so let's do five feet tall and that will be our center. So there's no instructions. So we're just gonna wing it. Okay, here it is all hung up, but can you see my dilemma? So it has this wonderful little switch plate here, which is great. So you can turn on and off the light. And this I can cover up with a cord cover, but then it, 
the cord cover's got to stop like right there. And I do have a cord cover. I got one from um, Home Depot. No, no, no. I lied. Lowe's. I got this. And it's paintable. So I'm going to put it right there to cover up the cord. But then we're going to have an extra inch or two right here that needs to be covered. So we're definitely going to play around with that um, little bit here, but we're going to use this cord cover here. We'll do it like this. Just so we know where to trim it at. So about right here. And we'll put our cord cover on and then we'll paint it so it'll match the wall. When I went into Restoration Hardware, I kind of looked at what they did with their wall sconces and their picture lights and stuff. And it's just a cord. They didn't even bother with the cord cover. They just painted the cord. And that, you know, that's kind of cool because here I'm thinking, oh my gosh, am I doing the right thing? You know, do I do this? Do I, you know, you always second guess yourself. And if restoration and hardware can do it, so can I. <laughs> right? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. But yeah, we're going to use these and we're just going to paint them up. So measuring it out. Probably about right there. And let, I'm going to cut it and then I'll be right back. We'll put it on and then we'll work on the other sconce. Now, I happen to have the belief that no window should be untreated. And as clean as it looks with just blinds, I'd like to add something more to his window. The window behind you. So we are going to add his old drapes in which happens to fit nicely in with the new comforter that we got at Target. So it's a win-win. Didn't have to go out and buy anything. Um, I washed them, they smell and look great. Oh, they're from Ikea. Um, I got them maybe four years ago, if that. Um, so we are just going to reinstall that, but I did get him a new manly curtain rod because the other one that was on here was a little bit girly and understated so to speak so we are going to add the window treatment on and then the clock behind and then the room should be almost completed it's going to be completed for you guys we are waiting for a desk for this area but we're still going to hang up the picture and we'll just kind of stage it and we'll wait for the desk because he hasn't made up his mind it's been a while um he just can't make up the mind his mind of which one he wants so we are not going to hold up this room makeup over anymore we are going to get it done today in this video and 
so I can reveal it to you. So next, hanging up the window treatment and then finish hanging up the decor. And then I will turn you around, spin you around so that you guys can see what it looks like all done. This is the start of Max's room makeover. And if anybody has teenager boys that um, live in their home, well, a house, a room is probably most likely going to look like this. So we're going to get some great before images because this room is going to be transformed. Teenager boys are just messy. So he obviously needs some storage. He needs a better room layout. He likes to game. So that's on the agenda and he needs some storage, obviously some proper storage for his clothes and probably get out some of his toys that he used to play with. We need a better setup with the bed and some lighting because that push button light and that light and this window is the only lighting. And here is his room after. We got the bedding from Target and then the artwork was posters that we found at Target for $6.99 and then the frames we got at Michael's. We are trying to reuse much as his previous things, such as these curtains we got from Ikea. We did purchase a new rod, but this gaming chair he did get last Christmas. This dresser he's had since he was a kid, and this sticker here is to fight thyroid cancer. We're using most of his things that he has on hand, like the trumpet horns, because he does play trumpet. And then this black and white box we got at Home Goods, but we've had that box for eons. This wall clock we found at Target. And I think reusing the things that he has on hand that he loves makes such a cute little vignette. We did find these wonderful side tables at an estate sale. It was the last day of the estate sale, so everything was 50% off. So I got both of those tables for $50. We did order these wall sconces from Amazon. They are plug-in, um, and so I think it makes it a little bit more user-friendly especially if you don't want to cut holes in your wall and have to rewire uh, to get the 
hard wire wall sconces. You can have the look, a very similar look for less. You just need to paint or get these cord covers. And here is the DIY headboard. I am so ecstatic of how well this turned out. Thank you, Joe, so much for installing it. A couple last minute decor items I found at Home Goods. This fan for $49. And our last finishing touch to this room is installing an overhead light. Thank you for watching guys. And if you wouldn't mind clicking on the like button and subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay amazing and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.